Hi, this is Margaret from the Fletcher Library. I have a few books I'd like to suggest, especially if you like historical fiction or literary fiction, and enjoy a storyline that is character-driven and richly detailed. The first book is by author Lisa C., and it's The Island of the Sea Women. The story follows a decade-long friendship of two women who meet in 1939 when they are seven years old. They lived on the island of Jeju in what is now South Korea. Together and apart, the two friends' lives are shaped by events that they are powerless to change. They and the people of Jeju endured the Japanese occupation, World War II, and the Korean War. The history of the specific point in time is fascinating, but so is the setting of the story. On the island of Jeju, there are women called Haeyo, or sea women. Since the year 434, Haeyo have supported their families and communities by free diving into the sea to harvest sea life. As with all of Lisa C's books, the characters are strong women, and her writing is thought-provoking, richly detailed, and historically well-researched. Before you begin the book, I would recommend that you visit the author's website, lisac.com. There you will find photos, videos, and articles documenting the extensive research C conducted of the island of Jeju and the culture of the Haeyo. This book was selected by Maryland Humanities as the 2020 One Maryland, One Book. I'd also like to tell you about two books that were considered for the 2020 One Maryland, One Book. The theme for the year was friendship, and in honor of 2020 being designated the Year of the Woman in Maryland, all of the books are by women writers. The first is Washington Black by Essie Iduyan. Like The Island of the Sea Women, this book is compelling historical fiction and a story of friendship. However, Washington Black is a story of an unlikely friendship. The story is told from the perspective of George Washington Black, who in 1830 was a child slave on the island of Barbados. Wash, our main character, escapes slavery and lives to tell the fascinating story of his life. I struggled with how to describe this book. Then I read a review on Booklist, where the reviewer wrote that there is a wonderful strangeness to the story. It is a strange story, but a story told in a very clear and creative way. But even with calling the story wonderfully strange, creative, and clever, it doesn't mean that the writer ignored the horrors of slavery and racism. She did not. The other book is titled Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This story is set in Washington, D.C. at the beginning of a school year. The main character, Claudia, is looking forward to seeing her friend Monday, but Monday is not there, and she never does return. The story in Monday's Not Coming might sound familiar to you. This is because the author partially based the story on a true case of missing black youth in Washington, D.C. This is a timely story for us as we live the consequences of racism. Here are three more titles that I might suggest. One is Homecoming by Yah Jesse. The other is A Long Petal of the Sea by Isabel Allende. And the third is Barkskin by Annie Curley. All of these books are available in the library or on Overdrive. I invite you to go online, place a hold on these books, or call us at the library at extension 300. We'll be glad to help.